Hello friends, so we are going to discuss a new topic and this is uh, limits to the value of t ratios that is trigonometric ratios. So we are going to understand what are the values or the range of values all the six t ratios can take. So we start with this, this identity sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1, right? So we are first trying to attain or arrive at the range the values of sine theta can take. So sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1. Now you know that sine square theta is greater than equal to 0 all the time. Why? Because it is a positive quantity. It's a square term. So square of anything. If you square anything, it is always going to be greater than equal to 0. If it is 0, then square of 0 is 0. But if it is anything negative or positive, square of any anything, any number will be always positive. So I can say sine square theta is greater than equal to 0. Similarly, cos square theta will always be greater than equal to 0. Now sum of two, po so two positive quantities are there. One is sine square theta, another is cos square theta. And sum of these two is 1, right? That means we want two positive quantities are added up to get 1. That means each one of them will be less than 1. So hence, sine square theta is less than equal to 1 and cos square theta is less than equal to 1. So this will be 1. So let's say when sine square theta is 1, then definitely cos square theta is 0. And when cos square is 1, then definitely sine square theta is 0. So this is what it means. So now sine square theta is less than 1. So anything which is less than 1, that means if the square of anything is less than or equal to 1, it always means that the value will be from minus 1 to plus 1. Isn't it? You can take examples. For example, if it is a 0 0.2 negative, so if you square this, you will get 0 0.04, right? And if it is, let us say, 0 0.3, so square this, you will get 0 0.09. So if you see, these all are greater than equal to 0. So till, let us say, if you take minus 0 0.99, 9999 nine, 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 like that so its square again will be equal to very near to 1 again so 0 0.9 only 99 nine, like that okay so you you can check similarly minus 1 will be less than cos theta and less than equal to 1 right so hence we got the first two ranges so sin theta is less than equal to 1 and cos theta is less than equal to 1 and sin theta is greater than equal to minus 1 and cos theta is also greater than equal to minus 1 this is the first result. Now, cosecant theta is nothing but 1 upon sin theta, reciprocal of sin theta. So, hence, when sin theta is less than 1, then 1 upon sin theta will always be greater than or equal to 1, right? So, if any anything is less than 1, less than or equal to 1, reciprocal of it will always be greater than that number, isn't it? So, hence, if you see, cosec theta is greater than or equal to 1. You can check taking a value, let us say 0.2 is less than 1, but 1 upon 0.2 will always be greater than 1. Correct? So this is for cosecant theta. Similarly, if you if you take uh, secant theta is a 1 upon cos theta, so hence secant theta will always be less than or equal to minus 1 and secant theta will be greater than or equal to 1. So cosecant and secant in terms of range are similar that means both cosecant and secant have same range that means it will be either less than minus 1 or it will be greater than 1 correct now let's let's talk about tan theta so tan theta is sine upon cos which when which can be written as under root 1 minus cos square theta by cos how because sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so hence sine theta sine square theta can be written as 1 minus cos square theta so hence sine theta can be then reduced to this 1 minus cos square theta isn't it so hence i have represented sine in terms of cos itself so 1 minus cos square theta under root divided by cos theta now look at this particular term carefully now it means cos theta tends to zero from the positive side what does it mean so this arrow means tends to so when cos theta value becomes very very close to zero but the value is positive now the value can be either positive or negative let us say this is my x-axis and let us say in x-axis i am representing cos theta values so cos theta well, let us say this is my one and this is minus one so cos theta value in this area is less than 1 but it is positive. 
similarly cos theta value here in this area this region is negative and but very close to zero isn't it so hence cos theta value can be let us say point plus point plus point zero point zero 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 one and it can also be minus 0 0.0001 right so when i'm talking about 0 plus i mean to say that cos is positive but very close to 1 and when i say 0 minus i say cos is very close to 0 but it is a negative number right now as cos is very close to 0 but not 0 mind you it's very close to 0 but not 0 so tan theta takes a very large positive value why because I am dividing by a very very small positive value. So let us say if you divide 1 by 0 0.00000 and many zeros, right, followed by let's say lots of zeros and 1, then this is a very huge number, isn't it? It will be 10 to the power number of zeros here, right? It let's say 20. So it's a very huge number. So hence, if you divide anything by a very very small positive number, then the number and you know the quotient or whatever is the result of the division is a very very large positive value correct so that means tan theta is taking a very large positive value it can take any you know positive value and in that sense we say that tan theta tends to positive infinity similarly when cos theta is very very small value but negative value right then tan theta will take a very negative large negative value why because let's say the same thing here if i change this change this to minus 1 then this item becomes minus 10 to the power let's say 20 20 is just a number i'm saying it's a very large negative value so what do we learn we learn that tan theta value can be now tan theta can definitely be zero why because if my sine theta becomes zero then tan theta becomes zero okay so hence what happens i can see that tan theta is taking any value between minus infinity to plus infinity right tan theta ranges between minus infinity to plus infinity similarly cot cot theta also can be explained in the same terms and again you can take two values of sign very small positive and very small negative and you will see cot theta like tan is also the same minus infinity to plus infinity so what is the summary so i have i have summarized the, uh, the above results if you see so basically it is nothing but sine theta will be varying from minus one to one and it in alternatively it can be also said that mod value of sine theta is less than or equal to one right the modulus whenever you take the mod value of sine theta it will always be less than or equal to one and yes you can always write this as well so zero less than or equal to 0 less than equal to sine theta mod sine theta is less than 1 because mod is a positive quantity so it will not go into the negative realm so hence this is another way of writing this right and similarly for cos is this so minus 1 less than equal to cos theta less than equal to 1 minus infinity less than tan theta is less than infinity here if you notice i have not put equal to sine because you cannot equate anything to infinity because you know it's in a way it's you know a not a not known not defined number so hence i'm can i cannot equate it to tan theta it is it is to it is to show that the infinity is a very large number but it's not equal to tan theta okay similarly minus infinity is less than equal to cot theta sorry less than cot theta and less than infinity secant theta again less than minus one and secant theta is greater than one Similarly, cosecant theta is less than minus 1 and cosecant theta is greater than 1, which can be again written like this. Hope you understood this. This information is very vital. We'll also have a demonstration video on which we'll show you how the graph of sine theta versus theta behaves or all the trigonometric ratios with respect to the angle behaves. You can check that out in the same uh, channel.